All right, Coach. Um, got off to a good start, um, came the early, but then second, third inning, he gave up some hits and a couple of wild pitches and stuff. Just talk about, you know, y'all are saying we have to play clean ball, mm -hmm. and especially against this team, you really have to play clean ball. Yeah, yeah, you know, obviously a high potent offense, but all American in the circle, you don't have to play clean and not give them second opportunities. And that's the kind of story right there. I thought Corinne did a good job, put a good two out swing, two strike swing on the pitch right there and get us on the board early. And, uh, you know, I, I thought Davis came in and she was competitive. She, she did a good job. We kind of went through a lot of arms today. Um, you know, we, we got to feel the bunt and, and take have a little bit of urgency on the ground ball and get out that inning or minimize the damage on that inning. And, Keep that self, keep that get the score respectable at that point. So, uh, you know, look, at the end of the day, we're a really good team. Um, you know, I thought Davis did a good job of staying composed after she got a legal pitch called on her earlier, and that that was good to see. I thought Sanders came in and did a really good job. Billy at the end, so we we're able to get some young people some some innings. Um, and look, at the end of the day, I, I think our, our team kept fighting. They stayed in it. They always felt the energy levels up. They were competing for at bats. So a lot, a lot of stuff to learn from this game, um, you know, and, and you move on. But uh, all in all, look, the kids, all I ever ask them to do is fight to the end. And I felt, you know, we got to seven innings and they kept bat on right there. So um, we'll have to forget about it really quick and move on. What do you want to see differently tomorrow? Um, obviously the cleanness yeah. uh, really is, a, is a, the one thing. Yeah, you know, the pass balls right there and, and not be able to handle the bunt. It was a little bit of urgency on defense. You know, we had a couple of infield hits. Uh, I thought we could have, you know, pushed the issue a little bit. Um, better at bats. You know, I, I don't – wasn't terrible. We knew we were facing some – with two strikes, we got to we got to work on – that's two nights in a row with two strikes. We're just going down uh, without putting balls in play. I, I thought as the game went on, second time through, we did a better job of, you know, hitting some balls just right at people. Um, so – they're just putting some balls in play, Jim. You got a Central Arkansas team that you played last year as well coming up first tomorrow. Do you feel like you talked about patience yesterday more, just being more patient in the at bats? Do you feel like that is transitioning in tomorrow more and that they're being more patient? Yeah, I, I hope so. You know, I mean, tonight it was tough because Maxwell was filling up the zone. We were 0 2 at that time in, in this game all night long. So, I mean, you, you get behind a pitcher like that, it's going to be a long night. So, you got to tip your hat to Maxwell. She was really good. She, we knew she was really good coming in, and she lived up to it. So, um, you know, as far as patience goes, I, I, I think that just, you know, we're clipping a little bit of balls early in the count, a lot of foul balls early. So we have to work on some directional stuff and, and make sure that we're impacting the ball a little bit better. And that's what I like to see. I, I think we, we tried to take some big swings early in the game, and we didn't really need to. You know, Poncho tones down their swing right there was able to make a good swing and hits the ball at the park. So uh, hopefully we can learn from that and be a little bit better offensive team tomorrow. Um, the, obviously, the big thing is when you talk about players like they have, like you make the one mistake and it leads to three runs. Yeah. You don't get the double play that you usually get because they're kind of a little quicker, leads to two more runs. Just making those plays. Yeah, absolutely. You know, any time you could get a, a, some weak contact out of a team like that, that kind of offense, you got to capitalize and get off the field. And, and I think that's the name of the game is. Like when you have, like you said, you have a chance that they're going to give you a bunt on the, on the sack bunt, and you got to make that play. You know, we want our, our team wants to make that play. So those are things. Anytime you let all Americans come to the plate one extra time, you kind of flirt with disaster. So, um, but you know, look, we stayed in the game. We were able to minimize some damage. Uh, those innings could have got away from us a little bit more. And uh, we had some young kids, kind of, you know, like I said, Dave, Davis and Dibley were some young players. I, I thought it showed some composure tonight. You talked about Poncho earlier, but um, yesterday, oh, for three, you said maybe she rushed a couple of at bats. Today, it seemed like she was more poised at the plate. And I'm just talking about the. Yeah, you know, Poncho's a good hitter, and and she she's gonna, you know, it's hitting. It's the game of softball, and you can try to hit a round ball with, with a round bat. And some days it goes good for you, some days it doesn't. You know, so you know we can't chalk up one performance, good or bad, is kind of defining you. So. I think she did a good job of clearing the mechanism and moving on today. And I think that's what Corinne does really well. She's able to move on to the next day really quick. And so, you know, she's going to show, you know, see, obviously her numbers are going to be there. We're, we're there to see the power numbers, and she's going to have to learn how to get in those situations. But I, I think all in all, she did a good job of flushing yesterday and doing a good, good job of competing at the plate today. Were you planning on using as many pitchers um, for the game, or is it just today? Uh, yeah, yeah, we were. 
we 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 kind of we, we had a game plan. We we're going to try to to minimize the damage with, with the you know the, how explosive their offense was. So we're going to try some things out and uh, we gambled a little bit. And I, I think a couple of innings it paid off for us, but ultimately it didn't. You know they get they would get the big home run at, at, and kind of really open it up to the eight run lead. But um, yeah, we we want to try some things and put some kids in some situations and see how they respond and. You know, the, the competitive spirit was there. Uh, we just didn't get, you know, all the results we'd look for. You know, three big innings is, is what it turns out to be. You touched on Dibley as well. Um, she's obviously a big local player from here. Um, just to see the composure that she had at the end of the game, even though it was eight for one, to see her go through two strikeouts. Um, what was it like to see her do that in that moment? Yeah, you know, like it is. It's one moment, and you, you want players to capitalize when they get their opportunities. And, you know, to kind of see her rebound and come back and do well like that. Uh, hopefully it's, she kind of gets a, that, that nervous energy that you got to learn how to control when you come out the bullpen. So, you know, for a freshman, it, it's good. So you can't beat those kind of experiences. Big crowd, uh, great, great energy out here tonight. So we do appreciate it. And, you know, I want to kind of top that off too is make sure I just really appreciate our fan support tonight. This is an unbelievable experience for to come out and support us. And uh, we do appreciate the fans. How, I mean, Pope Nation showed up tonight, so we do thank you.